My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. Today we'll see how we can import data from Excel to Microsoft Power Automate, how we can use conditions on those data, and how we can send an email based on certain criteria. With that said, let's go. After getting some data in our Excel sheet, we got this table here again with five entries with a unique identifier here, a name, and then the corresponding sale. So for example, the Angela with the ID of one, the sale of one, she made a sale of 7,000, Anders made a sale of 1,000, Bill 11,000, Hillary 6,000, and Mede 5,500. Now we will show how you can import it into Microsoft Flow and work with it and send you an email if a condition is met. So let's move to Flow. I will uh, minimize this. Then we will um, create a new flow, so create. <clears throat> it's uh, quite easy, so we'll just click Instant Flow again. This one we could call uh, Excel Data Condition, maybe. And manually again, create. So first we need to get the data from the Excel sheet uh, in to, um, to Microsoft Flow. So we will click New Steps and then we'll search for the Excel online. Then we'll choose the list rows present and table that will um, enable us to iterate through each one of the rows. But first we'll choose the location that will be OneDrive. I could choose one of my SharePoint sites, but however, this one will just be the one, OneDrive. The document library that will be OneDrive. It's quite easy with these drop downs. Then the Excel file itself, I place it in a folder called Anders Power Automate Sales. And uh, the table was called Personal Sales. So that's it for now. We could choose some queries here, but however, we don't need that. So then we will uh, click for a new step. And now we need a control, like we need a for each. So click control. Then we apply to each that one will. So we we come, let me uh, go here. We will import, a, we'll go through each of these rows one at a time and then uh, do some data work with them uh, here. So um, select an output, that will just be the value we got from up here. So just choose value here in the dynamic content like this. And now, uh, so this one will iterate through each of the rows. And now we just need to apply a condition on them. Let's say that, uh, let me again move to sales. Let's say that we want to know which one of these sales are over, say, 6,500. That's actually only Bill and Angela, because we want to send wine to our best sales representatives in our team. So uh, then we go to flow. We choose add in action. Then we need a condition here. And uh, you can see this already done. The condition, like we can choose some values, is equal to blah, blah, blah. If yes, is if no. So. Now it becomes a little bit tricky, but however, not ex extremely tricky. So the value, that will be the, the sale. And um, then uh, we choose is greater than 6,500. However, here, oh, sorry, open the condition again. Here, the, this one will go in as a text and this one is an uh, integer. We want uh, some sort of, uh, we want the possibility to write out decimal numbers and so, so we'll, uh, first we'll hover up over the mouse here because we need this items apply to each sale, we need that. So what we'll do is that we'll delete this again. So items, parentheses, apply to each underscore uh, question mark sale. So let me delete this one. And we go to to go to expression and write out an expression. So what we need is just, we only need to float like this. And in the parentheses about our previous um, expression. So that was items and then was apply to each like this. And then it was uh, question mark and then sale, that's the column name, like this. This one will um, convert the, the string 
get the string going in here to a float, like a decimal number, so we can work with it. So this one should do it. I think it will say that uh, it's fine. And uh, then we can um, put something in the uh, yes thing here, because we want to know if that if the sale is bigger than 6,500, we want to send wine to our sales guy or woman. So we'll add an action. We could uh, choose to send an email, like a normal mail or an Outlook mail. However, we'll just send a notification email to ourselves, where we can, in the subject, we could write something to ourselves. Remember to send wine to, and then the name. That's just the name of their um, the row, like the name of the row. That will be Angela, Bill, Hillary, so because of sale with ID and then the ID. So, and we set a reminder to ourselves, and we can just, in the body, we can just write regards myself or something like this. So this one should uh, send email for each one of the rows that's with a sale greater than 6,500 with this subject and this body. Let's see how that works. So we'll click save here. Test, we form the trigger action, save and test, and now we can test and run it. Run flows, yeah, it says that we're signed in in both of these, that's good. Continue, then we'll run the flow. So we can uh, choose done, and then we can see that um, your flow is running. And uh, then we head to our uh, mail client. This one, I uh, just uh, Moved it down here so you don't, uh, you couldn't see all my emails because some of them are private. So here, we um, we got the um, got the two mails. Like remember to send wine to Angela because of uh, sale with ID one. Regards myself, <laughs> and then uh, Bill as well. So uh, now we uh, saw how we could import date from Excel, data from Excel how we use conditions and how we'll send an email it's based on that. So that's it for now. Bye-bye.